Hey guys, just opening up boosters here. Team event has just started. 30 points from say boosters. Not bad. Not bad at all. We can't enhance them still. Nothing has changed. So let us see if we can get any more EX pulls. I've had a good run lately. I'll take a JP on there. Um, do you guys want to see Drapey on highlight vid? Um, I think he's actually pretty usable. I like his recent buff. He's, he's not, not as OP as a lot of the other rares, but he's pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think about that. And this is the deck. You guys uh, would have seen my last video. If you haven't and you're new, go and check this one out. If you like the video after this, after you've seen this one and you want to see more of it, I think the last video was, was, that I put out was uh, pretty amazing. Um, it was the first time I've ever used this deck. And I must say, I was impressed. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do. Now, so let us see. How are we gonna do this? How do we do this? Hmm. Hmm. Here we go. Opponent has been found. I'm excited. I'm excited to see. Alright. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. Coco Ginga Rush. Palkia. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, it feels cool to see Palkia being used. That's exciting. That is very, very exciting. Although, here's the Coco Rush. I'm just gonna send my Volpixes towards the goal. Um, I kind of miss running. This is, this is one hard point when I was, I was trying to run this. I was running Glalie as Evo, previously in my old Ice Deck. And I like that. Because then he's got a big gold to knock the spheres. And mm, I'm going to get pinched here. I'm really going to get pinched. I have invested in Articuno and Glalie for this deck. So I'm going to put Glalie out. If he megas comes down at me. And I roll purple. He's in trouble. He's in ginormous trouble. So he's going for it. So, let's see if he attacks or not. If he doesn't attack, I'm going to have to attack him. So, here we go. Boom. Okay, taking him to level 9 well, was definitely worth it. That roll right there. Glalie had been rolling miss for me quite a bit previously. So, having him... Ah, that feels good. That feels good. I'm just going to throw my career in. I feel like, I really feel like going Mega Glalie and trying for a Banish. Just because it's Mega Gengar and he's got two Mega Gengar plates. Um, I think I'm going to do it. Let's, let's, if I can do it, that would be amazing. I want to evolve, Mega Evolve now and then I am going to double chance next turn. So I'm not going to do anything just now. I want to take a turn and double chance. So let's just see if we can get this banish. Um, typically, I, I don't like doing this, and I always save my glale, yeah, I'm gaily, glaily. Um, but why not? That's all I want to say. Why not? There's no way he's not going to be knocked out at least. But hopefully, oh come on, hopefully, hopefully I get a purple. Oh, if I got purple right there, that'll just like ended his game. Um, like, <laughs> he would have another wasted plate, he's got, got my entry open, that, that would have been night, like a nightmare for him, I'm sure. So, I've pretty much wasted my Mega, just for the meme, for potential, for a potential like super Mega Daily highlight video. And that is pretty much why I did it. Um, and that happens, RNG happens, and we get nothing. So, let us see how well I can do without this. I've got to get something else out of my board just in case. Because you know what? In the worst case scenario happens, I'll attack with Mega Glalie into like Coco and I'll get wrecked. We'll see. Hopefully, I get a knockout. Alright, that's, that's alright. That is alright. I'll take that. Um, but one good thing is, if Mega Glalie does get knocked down, he just de-evolved to Lely, which is kind of cool, but 
they're just so different. They're just so different. Palkia. Hello, Palkia. Um, what do I want to do here? I think, I think I want to throw uh, Vulpix in front of him. If, if he comes down and attacks. Oh, attack, please. If I get my white here, oh, fun is on. No. Okay, well, that, that could have been fun. Um, I want to try and also set up for some sneaky surround business to try and get my Lunala on the board. And this is potentially going to be trouble. So I'm just going to go jump in front of him. Right here. And I'm kind of feeling like this deck needs... Ooh, ooh, let off the hook. Let off, completely let off the hook right there. Um, I need to be able to maneuver myself a bit better. So, let us see, what can this do for me? Um, oh, yes, yes. Okay, okay, now fun, fun starts here. The fun starts here. So I'm going to use Vulpix's ability. He cannot get to my goal. So I'm going to leave him frozen right there. And I want to push on up with Vulpix next turn. Or maybe not next turn. Okay, so he's, he's going to attack. He's got to attack. Okay. So I can either just jump back with Aracuno or I can goal block. Um, if I jump back with Aracuno, he can... He can um, unfreeze but if I might as well take this opportunity to gold block free up my entry get my full Evo boom that is worth it to me that is definitely worth it to me and now I can still I can still just hold his ice his frozen figures down without having um Kreerim on the board and okay he's he's made a mistake um that's crazy that's crazy. Did, did any of you guys notice that on my last game, my movement points were not um, showing up, and neither on, on they've happened again on this one? Like, I thought my game was freaking out, but see, you can't, it does not showing where I can move to. It's crazy. But I'll take that one. He should have goal locked, he should have moved in front of me. But he didn't, he didn't defend properly, so I'll take that one. But, mmm. Articuno working a gem. I'm, I'm, I'm quite liking the way this is running, so let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah, love to hear from you guys as always. If you like that video and you're new, stick it, subscribe, stick around. I'm trying to pump out a lot of videos now, so love to hear what you guys think, and we'll see you next time.